if I had a crystal ball, write it down in all these categories, product, revenue, churn, retention, customer satisfaction, NPS, et cetera, what would be the best year ever? So I told him, and I think that's what hashtag best year ever. So it wasn't something I came up with. I don't, I'm not thinking about a theme next year. To me, to, next year should be execution. <laughs> that's what it should all be about. Grind execution, right? Like how do we get down to executing and grind our way to the top? about balancing and everyone says hey how, how, how are you so balanced or how's the company so balanced and you're never balanced <laughs> you're balancing I don't look at the foot faults that we'll have um, or the roadblocks or even the, the, the failures as we have as as a bad thing I look at them as, a, as an opportunity by failing you learn and by learning you apply the right mechanism or method um, which then gets you to the promised land and so what I think about is how do we fail often and fail fast so that way we can figure things out. It's one of the big reasons why we, we uh, introduced the company to the 12-week year. Everyone wants to fail, but they want to fail slowly and long, and people don't like failure. It's, it's not comfortable for them. Um, failure is a, a great attribute that I picked up um, early on just because I learned faster. I'd rather learn as much as I can to learn fast, so you have to fail often in order to do that. Or you just have to hit home runs all day, which I don't think is sustainable um, or realistic. And so when you think about the 12-week year, why one of the reasons we implemented it is because you can fail within 12 weeks opposed to 12 months. So the goal is to cram everything from 12 months into 12 weeks, push through and do everything on a day-to-day -day basis so you execute, and then if you come up short, you learn in 12 weeks opposed to 12 months. And if you hit a home run, great, you hit a home run in 12 weeks opposed to waiting the entire 12 months, right? Um, so I think by failing, you learn, by having those road bumps and speed bumps, it, nothing's easy, right? Nothing's easy at all. Um, we're running a business here. So um, that's what I think about when I think about um, failing and, and having these learnings and these failures throughout new initiatives, even old initiatives and processes. How do we build out and provide services that have to specifically help our users, which are currently right now brokers, uh, realtors, agents, transaction coordinators, admins, uh, assistants, etc. How do we give them the tools to provide the three things that matter most in their business, which directly aligns with the consumer? Speed, transparency, and trust. Did you really think you are gonna get a different answer? I mean, it's speed. How do we have a product that's gonna help them be as fast as possible? Because their user, the consumer, expects that, right? Transparency. What are you doing for me? I'm the consumer, I'm confused, I don't know what's happening. Lay out exactly what you're offering and what we're doing within the transaction and not just the real estate transaction and not the realtor standpoint. Bring in my lender, right? Bring in my home warranty, bring in my title representative, bring in my insurance representative. How are you, how are you actually doing what you say you're doing and how are you giving me back that data? I think about this like um, Uber. It's simple. I can look down and I can see where the Uber driver is coming, what corner, what car. It's very transparent. And then trust, and not just trust, trust me on the transaction, long-term trust. So I think obviously for a, a consumer to do business with a realtor, there has to be some level of trust, hopefully, why they would use you. But a lot of folks, I think, fall off the wagon when the deal's done and they move on to the next. And so how do we provide long-term trust? And so as you see through the Start Safe um, um, Digital Opening Package Initiative, we are asking them, do you need help with other things after the sale? Changing your home address, updating your utilities, changing your driver's license information with the DMV, getting cable and internet. You know, some of these folks need insurance, right? All these services, U-Hauls and moving, and I can go on and on. How do we help them build trust? Not now, because that should be built, but long term. So it's a client for life. And so um, the, everything we build and service should directly reflect one of those three things, speed, transparency, and trust.